Now we are going to see the second sum. Express the following as the sum of the two odd primes. Express the following as the sum of the two odd primes. Look at the first number that is a is equal to 44. So 44 you must add the two prime numbers. Okay, two odd prime numbers. Express the following as the sum of the two odd prime numbers. You have to add the two odd prime numbers. You have to take any two odd prime numbers. Then you must add together. Then you have to find out the given number. Okay, that is 44 is given. This is the question. It's a given number. So you have to express the following as the sum of the two odd prime numbers. So 3 is an odd, odd number and 41 is also odd number. But 3 is a prime number and 41 is also prime number. I have told you prime number is nothing but it has only two factors. The num that is 1 and itself, okay, 1 and the same number. It has only two factors, that is 1 and itself, itself means the same number, it is called as a prime number. So 3, it has only two factors and 1, for the example, uh, they have taken, for example, they have taken two odd numbers and after that they are adding together, 1 is 3, another one is 41. 3 is a what? Prime number and 41 is also a prime number because both are two factors only both are two factors only so it is factor means you know that 3 is divisible by 1 and 3 and 41 is divisible by 1 and 41 so that is called as so 41 plus 3 if you add together you can get the number is 44 or 44 and some other uh, odd prime numbers 7 is a prime number and also is odd number and 37 is the odd number as well as the prime number so 7 and 37 you add together you can get 44 the next one is 44 or else you can take any other two uh, uh, any other two what odd prime numbers that is 13 13 is the odd prime number and 31 is the odd prime number so you add together you can get what 40 Four. So, 41 plus 3, you can get what? 44, first one. Next one, what? That is 37 plus 7. You can get what? 7 plus 7, 14. Carry 1, 3 plus 1, 4, 44. Again, you can get. Next is 31 plus 3. So, 13, sorry, 13 plus 31. So, 3 plus 1, 4 and 3 plus 1, 4 again. So, you can get. Okay, what you will get? You can get the same number, 44. That is what okay i think so you understand so 44 so what are the possible odd prime number means possible two odd prime numbers after that you have to add together then you can get the what question that is given number that is or two prime two sorry two odd prime numbers what are the possibilities of two odd prime numbers that means 3 plus 41 you add together you can get 44 or 7 plus 37 you can add together you can get 44 or 13 plus 31 add together what you will get 44 so these are the numbers are odd prime numbers these are two odd prime numbers these are the possibilities of two odd prime numbers and after that to add together you can get the given question so 3 plus 41 and 7 plus 37 and 13 plus 31 i think so you understand next one 18 is given so 5 is odd prime number and 3 is a odd prime number prime number i have given the explanation many times even though i'll tell you once again prime number is nothing but it has only two factors it is divisible by 1 and itself itself is nothing but the same number so 5 is divisible by 5 and 1 and 3 is divisible by 1 and 3 so you you must add together these two odd prime numbers after that you add together you can get the given question 18 next is what 18 again so 7 plus the next two possibilities so next possibilities what is this uh, uh, some of the two odd uh, prime numbers some of the two odd prime numbers nothing but 7 is an odd prime number and 11 is an odd prime number so uh, you must add together you can get the given question 18 so 7 plus 11 you can get the answer is 18 so these four numbers these four numbers are the what uh, odd prime numbers these are the what uh, pair of odd uh, pair of or uh, what is this is this is the pair and this is a pair so odd uh, these are the two odd prime numbers these are the two odd prime numbers this is the two odd prime numbers. so this one pair and this one pair these are the possibilities mm -hmm. of odd prime numbers and after that you add together you can get the given question next one which of the following numbers are prime so uh, they are given the uh, numbers to you so this is that is 23 and 51 and uh, what is 37 so 23 a num a question is 23 and b question is 51 and c question is 37 so 23 you have to find out whether it is a prime number or not of course 23 is a prime number so 23 what are the factors of uh, 23 1 and 23 23 is divisible by 1 as well as what 1 
uh, 23 is divisible by 1 as well as 23. So that is what I have written 1 into 23 you can get 23. So 1 as a factor and 23 as a factor. So anyhow I told you so fa factors factors always uh, are always combined with the multiples all multiples because anyhow it is a divisible whether it is divisible or not you have to find out but anyhow while you go for the divis uh, uh, what um, divisible factors while you go for, while you go and find out the factors and that means divisible factor you uh, definitely you have to go to the multiples so 1 into 23 so you can get what 23 so next number is these are the two factors these are the only two factors so 23 is a what prime number so 10 23 that is 1 into 23 you can get 23 so 23 is divisible by 1 as well as 23 next 51 51 means 1 into 51 you can get and 3 into 17 so 1 into 51 so 51 that means 1 is 51 is divisible by 1 and 51 is divisible by 51 so 1 into 51 you can get 51 and again 51 is divisible by 3 you can get what the quotient is 17 again what will get uh, 51 is seven, divisible by 17 you can get what 3 is a quotient 3 as a quotient otherwise you can say 1 into 51 you can get 51 so 51 is divisible by 1 as well as 51 next 51 is divisible by 3 and, and also 51 is divisible by 17 so that is what we have written 3 into 17 you can get what 51 so uh, that is the 3 table it goes and 17 table also it goes and 1 table also it goes and 51 table also it goes these are the was possible of factors so but here here only two factors only two factors only two factors only two factors but here how many factors more than two factors that is four factors how many factors four factors that means more than two factors more than more than two factors more than two factors so that it is not a prime number 51 is not a prime bus or so it is not come it does not come under the under under the uh, what um, under in this ed, under and under in this heading okay so 51 is not come under in this heading it does it not come under the heading so 51 is not in the what uh, um, not in the cup okay that is what so 51 so it is a what it is not a prime number it is a composite number and 23 it is a because 23 is divisible by 1 and 23 it has only two factors so that we can clearly say it is a prime number only two factors means nothing but it is a prime number okay prime number but it is not a prime number it is a composite number c o m p o s i t e composite sorry composite number next 37 so 37 is uh, divisible by 1 as well as 37 so 1 into 37 you can get 37 so 37 it is a prime number it has only two factors 37 it has only it has only it has only two factors it has only two factors so it is a prime number so it is so 51 is not in the set and 23 and 37 23 they are given three uh, three numbers which of the following numbers are prime so a is 23 and b is a is 23 and b is 51 and c is 37 so 23 that is 37 that is a question 23 and c question 37 these two numbers are prime number but b question 51 is not in, not a prime number it is a composite number so 51 is not a prime number it is a composite number what are the prime numbers 23 and 37 what are the prime numbers i'll write 23 and what and and 37 are prime numbers but 51 is a 51 is a composite composite number composite number composite number so i think so you understand how to find out the prime numbers very clearly and you know how to do the express the following as the sum of the two or prime numbers also clearly i think so understand the concept very clearly go through the videos once or twice you can clarify your doubts very clearly